Hello friends, Francesco Camelli here, GUE instructor in Los Angeles, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about double enders and how to customize them. Uh, if, like me, you're quite particular about your double enders and you like nice stainless steel ones, uh, I was forever losing them, misplacing them, uh, accidentally picking up the wrong ones, and so I wanted to find a way to make my double ender unique to me. I tried colored tape, I tried multiple tapes to give different color patterns, I tried paint pens. Nothing seemed to work until one day I thought I'd try this. This is uh, electrician's shrink tubing. It comes in lots of different colors and what you want to do is make sure that the end of your double ender fits through the shrink tubing and then you want to cut a piece. Here's one I prepared earlier. <coughs> to fit neatly in the middle of your double ender. So, and then with a heat gun, oh my God! I'm going to shrink it onto the double ender, making sure I don't burn my fingers. A few moments later. Hey, that's pretty good. It's now on there nice and snug. Um, the nice thing about this too is that because this is sort of a, a rubbery substance, You've essentially created a, a, an area of more grip on your double ender, which helps you manipulate these with dry gloves or, or just wet gloves in general. So a double ender, some shrink tubing, a heat gun. Make sure you don't burn your fingers. Make sure the double ender fits through the end of the shrink tubing and that the shrink tubing has a, a coefficient of shrink that's good enough to seal onto the double ender and not be loose and that's it i hope to see you again don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, have a look at GUE TV if you have time there's lots and lots of tips by myself and a lot of my colleagues to help you figure out some cool things about diving hope to see you soon take care